There we go. So here we are and welcome. So as already suggested, today's session is about relaxation. This is about learning how to relax and essentially what it is about mindfulness that helps us to get there. Because I'm sure we've all had times where we feel like we could do with a bit of relaxation or we feel tense or sometimes we don't even know that we're tense. And there's a lot, often a lot of subconscious activity going on, which is pushing and pulling us in particular directions. And quite often that can be future and past base and and always when we're in that tension we'll be in some form of story so i invite everyone just before we start just to take a minute just to ground ourselves so finding a place of comfort and just arriving here so allowing allowing the body to relax if it wants to Allowing our uh, breath to be natural. And allowing our hearts to open. Noticing what kind of energy is happening in the body or the mind. Just seeing if we can allow that to be, if we know what's here, just allowing that here, allowing it to be here. And becoming aware of our bodies, the weight of our body on the chair. However that appears to us, there's no wrong answer or no wrong way of noticing. And perhaps opening our awareness beyond the body into the space around us. And being aware of what's going on in the room. Tuning into any sounds, any movements or Possible distractions. And then whenever you're ready to, just coming back, opening the eyes. Sometimes it's nice to begin a session just by checking in or giving ourselves a moment just to be. So essentially we're here today to explore, explore mindfulness and how that can help us to relax. And I guess the underlying experience we're pointing to is that it's in our nature to be peaceful. But quite often during the day, during the week or whatever period of time, stuff can build up, tensions can build up and they can pull us into the kind of headspace of thinking and thinking creates time, thinking creates tension, thinking creates expectations. So what we can do in this session is we're just starting to learn how to peel back 
and come back home, essentially. So we're not perpetuating this by attempting to search for something in the future. We're not even trying to alter our experience because that can lead to striving and tension and stress. As a little quote from Tara Brach is the gift of mindfulness is the gift of being in the present moment. And it sounds really simple. But if it was if it was that simple, then we'd all be doing it. In fact, we are doing it, but we just don't realize it. So despite what we want, despite what we might believe, mindfulness isn't actually about achieving a state of constant tranquility because that's not possible we actually arrive at peace through recognizing and acknowledging what's true in this moment so the peace doesn't come from creating some experience it comes from noticing what is here. So that's the first step. That's the first step in mindfulness is noticing what's happening. Can I notice what's happening? And in that way, noticing is quite passive. We're not searching. We're not striving. We're noticing. We're opening. And we do so with some of the mindfulness attitudes of curiosity and acceptance and kindness. So we notice what's happening and then quite often there's things that lurk under the surface of our awareness that we're not too not too happy about or we wouldn't choose to feel that way. So that's why we need the compassionate side of mindfulness to remember that whatever we're experiencing as humans is a perfectly normal human reaction quite often we can pen ourselves in by believing believing the thought that we're the only ones that feel this way or that there's something wrong with us for feeling this way so it's the recognition that what we are actually searching for in our lives, in this whole movement of emotion and emotional energy of pursuing like goals and career, even to the supermarket or whatever it is in our day, we're constantly doing, doing, doing social interactions. We might find, not in all cases, but we might find imbued in some of those is a sense that when I get there, when I get that next thing, then I can be at peace. We might find that in us is a sense of uh, maybe a sense of unsettledness or a little bit of a, a, a hole or some kind of feeling of incompleteness. So what we do is we go searching in all sorts of areas. We've all got our own little areas, but we're all often doing this. You know, phones are a good one. We often find automatically picking up the phone for distraction. But the, the mindfulness route is to actually go to that little feeling, go to that feeling here where or wherever it is and go, okay, so what is what what is it about this? What am I actually running away from? And when we turn our awareness to these things to these sensations, and if we do so with openness and curiosity and kindness and compassion, we actually start to create or to realize different kind of peace, a peace that when we see it, we realize it was here all along. And what 
pulls us away I've just got someone joining there uh, what pulls us away is the thoughts about the world it's our beliefs that this next thing is the next thing to make us happy so a question we can ask ourselves is what does this next moment have that this one doesn't and just pondering on that And it may be that something comes up, it may be that nothing comes up. It may be that we realise that we're already there. That we're already here. And what we're actually looking for is to come home in all of this searching. All we're looking for is, is the recognition of our own peace recognition of our own nature so I think what we'll do is take this into a practice and we will I'll guide the practice as I normally do we'll settle with the breath then we'll go into a bit of a body scan and then we'll go into uh, noticing and this essentially is the heart of mindfulness is the noticing what's happening a couple of sticking points that usually happen and it took me a long time to work this out during my mindful practice so I don't I don't refer to beginners or experienced because we're all beginners in a way is this tendency that the mind has to make us feel like we're not getting it quite right and it'll do that by uh, judging us for when we get distracted so we might i've had meditations where i've put it on and then it's 10 minutes before i've actually consciously aware that i'm beginning a meditation i'm like then the self-critic jumps in oh you're a mindfulness teacher and you can't even stay focused for 10 minutes. Da, 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 da. And then this little story starts spinning that has some emotions accompanying it. And then that feeds into the thoughts. And then hang on a minute. All I've got to do is bring my awareness back to this moment, because in the moment of noticing, in the moment of recognition, that is mindfulness. There's no special state to achieve other than to recognize what is happening right now. And we do so without judgment and we do so without that subtle form of expectation that if I get this bit right, then I'll feel OK, because that's another that's another thought. That's another distraction. It's another uh, mind made. Target that we're aiming for ifs and shoulds so does anybody have any questions about this essentially there's always something about creating or or going through a relaxation practice there's already a sense of expectation that we were going to feel relaxed about it okay but just being aware of the level that we are relaxing on is letting go of the need to feel relaxed, letting go of the need to achieve a certain state. And we play with that. We play with just noticing what's happening and coming back home, noticing and coming back home. So hopefully so at least some of that makes sense and resonates with us. I'll begin the practice, but has anyone got any questions before I go into it? I'll take that as a no. Make yourselves comfortable. This is it. I'm getting the bell out. And just allowing the sound of this bell to meet us where we are now.
You don't have to do anything to hear this sound. It's already here. So here we are. Noticing how the body is right now in its posture. Is there any sense of striving in our posture? Can we relax and let go of the need of a perfect posture. Allowing the body to relax and settle into its own place by one or two more degrees. And if we're comfortable and haven't done so already, closing the eyes And this allows us to really focus on breathing. Initially, just the natural breath. And then inviting the breath to deepen slightly. but softly and gently. Have a nice, smooth, long and gentle inhale. And a nice, smooth, long and gentle exhale. and bringing our awareness to the sensations of breathing. So using our awareness like a torchlight and focusing on the area in your body where you feel breathing the most. It might be on the nose or the chest or the belly. maybe a sense of the whole body breathing. So whatever it is, just doing our best to allow our attention to rest here. Despite the emotional mind's tendency to pull us into thinking patterns or judgment or past or future. And of course, when we notice that that's happened, we simply let that go. We brush that thought off. And with joy, the joy of noticing, we return back home. intimate with the breath. And we stay here, we stay 
as close as we can to this sense of the body breathing. And the mind is a bit like a puppy, so it will easily get distracted and chase something. It will chase a thought, an attractive thought, an enticing thought or sensation. So we don't berate ourselves for it. This is just the natural behavior of the mind. It's just the puppy mind. So we just gently bring it back to this breathing body, this sensation, breath by breath. Noticing that each in-breath has a beginning, a middle and an end. And each exhale has a beginning, a middle and an end. Perhaps noticing the space in between the inhale and exhale as the breath turns and continues. And noticing the small gap at the end of the exhale where it turns back into the inhale. And with the next exhale, letting go of any need to control the breath at all. Allowing ourselves simply to be with the natural breath and the sensations of the natural breath as it comes in and out. The beautiful breath. Even if it's a little bit short and shallow, even if it's long and deep, no judgment. Treating each breath as though it's the first breath we've ever taken. And we can tune into the whole body's sensations of how it feels to let go of the breath, this natural Letting go mechanism as we exhale. You know, what other sensations exist alongside that exhale? Is there a softening of the shoulders, of the face? A relaxing of the belly and the chest? Do we feel our weight sink into the seat as we let go of the breath? An exhalation is a, a necessary form of surrender, which we have to do if we want to take that next inhale. So in the same way that the body lets go of the breath, can the mind let go of thinking? Knowing that it's the attachment to thoughts that pulls us away from this center.
Noticing any thoughts or feelings that arise and pull us into the past, into the future, and just gently brushing those away. Doing as best as we can. And we're going to begin a body scan. And as always with a body scan, there's no judgment, no expectation at all. We simply bring awareness to different parts of the body. Noticing what sensations are there and what sensations aren't there. So can we bring our awareness all the way down to our feet and notice our feet on the floor, perhaps touching shoes or socks, perhaps bare feet on the floor. Noticing how we know we've got feet. And allowing that awareness to trace up through the ankles into the lower legs. Any sensations in the lower legs at all? Any contact? Any clothing? Any air? Any itches or niggles? Again, allowing any sensation to be there and any absence of sensation to be there as well. Sometimes we don't connect. Coming up through the knees without criticism or judgment up into the thighs without expectation. Open receiving whatever is there right now for us to receive. Sometimes it's big sensations like pain. More subtle sensations like contact of the air or tingling or fuzzing sensations. None, none is right, none is wrong. That awareness coming up through the hips, through the pelvis, into the lower belly, and filling the lower back as well, so Again, open and receiving in the same way that we receive sound. We don't have to effort. We don't have to try to hear. It just arises. In the same way we allow sensations of the body to arise. In the same way that we can't choose not to hear a sound that's present, we can't choose not to feel a sensation that's present. So we accept the sensations that are here and we accept the sensations that aren't here. And that awareness leaves the belly and lower back and comes into the chest, up the spine, into the upper back, so filling the upper torso. Noticing any tension in the shoulders or the upper back. Any weight or holding on. In 
the chest, any emotions, any anxiety or discomfort, any sadness. any joy and then we travel down the shoulders down through the biceps and triceps all the way down through the elbows into the forearms and those lovely alive hands bringing our awareness to contact or temperature on the outside of the hands any sense of touch or warmth or coolness and bringing that awareness a little bit closer so we can feel what it's like inside the hands. Often a sense of tingling. Maybe some pulsations. Or maybe there's nothing. And each of those experiences is as valid as the other. And we allow that field of sensation to be exactly what it is or isn't. Coming up the arms, but staying inside the body if we can. Staying with the field of energy within the body. As we come back up the arms and inside the throat and the head. Noticing any spaciousness behind the eyes. Noticing any tingling, any tension. And expanding that awareness, awareness to the whole body, connecting with whatever we can feel within the body as a field of energy. Or any sensations. And expanding that awareness outside of the body. Maybe a sense of expansion. So that awareness starts to listen to what's going on around us. Are there any noises? Can we pick up any far away noises, maybe only very quiet, subtle ones? Maybe loud and distracting ones. I'm just noticing how that sound is either present or it isn't. Noticing how that sound is constantly changing. Bringing the sound and the listening a little bit closer so listening to sounds right by us, can we hear the sound of our own breath? Any little ringing in the ears. And 
And then a slightly more subtle form of listening is tuning into the commentary. What kind of mental activity is occurring in this moment? Maybe thoughts, maybe feelings, maybe ideas. Maybe images. Are we playing a movie in our minds? Are we writing a story with our thoughts? Can we notice that like we did with sensations and like we did with sounds that this activity, if it's there, is arising all the time by itself, constantly changing and we don't have to do anything to receive it. It's ticking along just fine and dandy all by itself. In the same way, we don't have to give any power or strength to those thoughts. We can let them rise and fall away like the bell did, like the sensations do. Sometimes the mental activity is so loud that we can't feel like we can do anything about it. Sometimes it's so subtle that we think we are it. So whatever's going on in the form of mental activity, just allowing that to play its own game, just to unravel moment by moment in its own way. Can we bring that awareness even closer still and notice awareness itself. This silent backdrop to every sensation. Every sound. every thought. And spending the next few moments in and as this silence.
And as we come toward the end of the practice, taking a moment to reflect on the experience and asking ourselves how it went and being completely uninvested in the answer. Did it go smoothly or did we bounce from left to right? Was it turbulent or relaxing? Sleepy or alert? And as that's already happened, can we just allow that to be as it is without any judgment as well? And spending the last bit dedicating any any peace, any joy, any goodwill any sense of happiness or peace, sending that out to anyone who might be in need of it right now. And then allowing that to shine back on us when we may be in need of it. Maybe that's now. And allowing the sound of the bell again to greet us in the present moment. <laughs> 